I'm gonna teach you a way to measure the speed of light using just an egg and a microwave. First you need to get the egg white out of the egg. As you see it's not that white, but it's fine. Then you need to take the things out of the microwave, that glass tray and the rotary thing. Because you don't want the egg to be spinning in circles. You want it to stay stationary so the waves would be put on the egg correctly. And you should put it for around 45 seconds. I put 30 there. It's fine. And by now it should turn white. Now you should have little holes in the egg, like this. Mm. It's a bit foggy. Now you need to find a place to measure. It should be the two biggest holes you could find. And as you see, I found two equally sized holes. And they're about 62 millimeters apart and then you have to go to the back of the microwave and find the frequency output this is 2450 millihertz now to find the wavelength you take your measurement which was 62 millimeters and you need to convert this to meters and this will give you 0 0.062 meters and then you multiply by 2 to find the wavelength and the number you get is your wavelength and I get 0.124 meters and the microwave frequency was 2450 millihertz you have to convert that to hertz so when you do that you get two, four, five, zero with six extra zeros because it's times a million and the equation for velocity is velocity equals wavelength times frequency So V equals two four five zero 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 times point one two four. And that'll give you three oh three. That's 303,800,000 meters per second. That is really close to the speed of light. As you see, it should be around 300 million. And the percent error would be the value you got minus the absolute value. I mean, not the absolute, what's it called? Actual value. And you divide that number by the actual value. And you multiply by 100. So that will be... 0 0.013